Hi, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you had a peaceful weekend. <clears throat> Today I want to talk about a particular amino acid that goes a long way, a long way in helping us with not just our muscle, it helps us with the ability to lose weight the right way. It also helps us with our intestinal health. Today I think almost one in two or three people have gut issues across our country, probably around the world, because of poor lifestyle, poor food quality, wrong eating times and all of that stuff. And we know our gut health is everything when it comes to your immune system, when it comes to your weight, when it comes to your brain health and so many other things. There's a whole gut connection, a microbiome connection with almost every function in the human body, including your hormonal balance. So we're going to understand how this one amino acid can make all the difference. And of course, if you're already eating a healthy, well-balanced diet, you're going to be good. But if you're not, if you're constantly suffering from IBS, colitis, bloating, gut issues, hormone imbalance, falling hair, you know, change in your skin, pigmentation, low immune system, no matter how much of zinc and vitamin C you pop, although you shouldn't be popping it like that. Let's understand L-glutamine. L-glutamine is an amino acid. It's produced by the body and we also find it in several foods, mostly non-vegetarian sources, but there are also vegetarian sources of food, which we will discuss that have L-glutamine in it. Now, L-glutamine, when it starts off with your gut, if you don't have L-glutamine as an amino acid in your body, the integrity of your gut is compromised. You see, I want you to picture this to understand that your gut is not just about prebiotics and probiotics, okay? Today, I want you to picture your gut wall as a thin fishing net, a thin fishing net with small holes. That's a perfect gut. Your gut wall has a mucosal lining and on that gut wall you have small little fingers that basically once the food gets into your gut, it gets assimilated. And then these little fingers called villi basically pull nutrients, vitamins and minerals through that thin fishing net into your blood. And then your blood carries all your nutrients to all the trillion cells in the human body. A thin fishing net, that's perfect. Now what happens when the holes in these nets, in this net, gets larger and larger because of constant constipation? constant stress because when we constantly get stressed, we inflame our gut. So when our gut wall gets inflamed, we also have a poor microbiome, so the bad bacteria. If you're constantly bloated, you already know right now that you have a lot of bad bacteria, which isn't a good thing because this bacteria is a living organism. It grows, it traps gas, and it pokes small holes in that thin fishing net. Now when it starts poking holes in that thin fishing net, guess what? Those holes get larger and larger. Now you have a leaky gut syndrome. Several food molecules and food particles and certain particles and toxins which are supposed to exit our system enter through these larger holes in that fishing net into your blood. It's not supposed to be in your blood. So which system awakes? Your immune system. Because it, the job of your immune system is to recognize foreign invaders. So those particles which are supposed to exit your system have now entered your blood and your immune system wakes up to attack it. There's something called molecular mimicry, where some of these foreign invaders and molecules mimic the thyroid gland. So if it does, then your immune system attacks your thyroid gland, you have a Hashimoto's thyroid. If it attacks your joints, you have an arthritis. If it attacks your myelin sheet, you have a multiple sclerosis, or you can have a systemic lupus. If it attacks your skin, you can have an eczema or psoriasis. You can even have a vitiligo. So these are all the autoimmune conditions, but we're not talking about it today. We're talking about if you don't have L-glutamine, no matter how many prebiotics you take, how many probiotics you take, whatever you do for your gut, you don't have the amino acid, which is a building block of all proteins. What heals your body? Protein, which is why protein is so important. Protein builds and your body requires protein to even heal. So how do you grow muscle? So whenever you lift weights or you do a lot of exercise, you cause microscopic tears in your muscle. Now your muscle will use amino acids from your protein to repair itself and then you have a, either a repaired muscle, a leaner muscle or a muscle that grows in size. So you see protein is not just for muscle size, it is also for repair. So we have to understand that L-glutamine is required for the integrity of the gut. So when you have IBS, you're constantly going to the toilet all the time, passing motions. This is because your gut's inflamed, so it sends an urge, a signal to the brain to pass a motion. And what triggers that off whenever you're nervous or you're stressed or you have, you have targets or you have deadlines? You feel that nervousness and that inflames your gut and you feel like running to the toilet. Come a little bit lower, moving into your large intestine, which also has a gut wall. Then you have colitis and you have all of your colorectal problems leading to colorectal cancers as well. So you see, that is why we need to eat a balanced diet because there are so many minute amino acids, minerals, 
and vitamins that we will not fall we, we will not find in fad diets so you may lose your weight on a fad diet but then you lose everything one of the biggest complaints of people on fad diet is number one they're not happy because you messed up your neurotransmitters in your brain number two you start losing weight along with your looks your skin starts getting saggy you start getting pigmentation your color changes your hair falls off that clearly shows you that you don't have the right nutrients to maintain your overall wellness anyway moving to the next point weight loss how does it help you with weight loss because the more muscle you have the lesser fat you have you see a lot of people try to lose weight today by punishing the weight of their body by burning it with extensive cardio the smart people don't do that the smart people build muscle I'm not talking about big muscle I'm talking about lean muscle the more muscle tone you have the more tone you have, the more lean muscle you have, the lesser fat you have. It's as simple as that. So if you want to burn fat, build more muscle, tone up more. For that, you need L-glutamine. Okay, so when you come to your immune function, we know today it's an established scientific and medical fact that your gut communicates with your immune system all the time. Trillions of bacteria in the gut communicates with your immune cells. Now your white blood cells, to replenish and restore themselves, it needs glutamine. Glutamine is required for your white blood cells and for your gut health to maintain your immune system. So you need to understand how your body works and that's when you give it more, you know, uh, you, give it, you give it more respect and you just don't rely on a vitamin and zinc. To, it's good for your immune system, but it's way beyond the vitamin C and zinc. It's your, your gut as well. We spoke about a leaky gut. Today, a lot of people think that malnourishment only occurs and only exists in rural and poverty-struck India. There's malnourishment and malnutrition even in the elite, in the elite classes across our cities. Okay, because most people have a gut issue. If you have a gut issue, you're not absorbing all the nutrients you eat. So you can be having fancy quinoa, you can be having organic food and all of that stuff. It's not about what you eat. It's about how your body breaks down and absorbs what you eat. For that, you need a perfect gut wall. And for that, you need L-glutamine. L-glutamine is a building block of protein, so it helps you with your muscle growth. It helps you with a stronger muscle, your stamina, your endurance, your exercise performance, and even your recovery. If you've overtrained and you have a poor diet and you don't have L-glutamine from your foods or your supplements, your recovery time is going to be way longer. So then that's a signal. If you're taking a long time to recover from muscle soreness, you possibly have less rest and recovery or you have less L-glutamine, which helps you with recovery. So we need about three to six grams of L-glutamine on a daily basis, which will come from the food that we eat. If you're overtraining or you're training for a sport or for bodybuilding or whatever, then sometimes you've got to supplement to get that L-glutamine into your system. Another very important factor for L-glutamine, it's not just your gut. It's your liver as well. We produce something called glutathione. Glutathione is the master antioxidant in the human body. When your glutathione levels fall, you have serious issues with your kidney and your liver and your immune system. And glutathione is also required for your skin. So a lot of people out there go and take glutathione injections to get whiter or brighter skin and all of that stuff. You don't need to do that if you're absorbing your food and you have the right amount of glutamine because glutathione cannot be produced without glutamine. So you may want to take glutathione supplements and injections and all of those fads, but you need to understand that you still need to produce the right amount of L-glutamine in your system to produce glutathione. And that's why most supplements fail, because there's something called a precursor. You know, a lot of people take turmeric, but turmeric without black pepper doesn't work. Synergies. Piperine is required for, for the goodness of uh, curcumin or turmeric to be absorbed into your body. It's called bioavailability. So you can take all the glutathione in the world, but if you don't have L-glutamine and you're not even producing it or holding on to it. So let's move straight into some of the foods. Okay. And if you're going through chemotherapy, radiation, surgeries, heavy medications, we need to understand this damages the gut wall. And it also depletes a lot of our class A proteins, which is why when you're going through chemo, radiation, or you recover from a surgery, your doctors advise you to be on a high protein diet. Why? Because it is in the high protein foods that you will find the amino acid L-glutamine, which helps you from recovery. And it also helps you to maintain the integrity of your gut. That's why people going through heavy medical treatments either have diarrhea or they have either have severe constipation because the gut is compromised. So it is so important for you, along with the medical treatment that you take, to make sure that your diet is the right diet to suit the medical treatment that you're going through. 
Yes, your allopathy and all your medical treatment may be great at suppressing your symptom and treating your symptom. But if you really want to recover completely and heal, you need to change your diet and lifestyle along with that so that you make sure that there's no new side effect that comes from the primary treatment. Well, like I said, we will find most of our L-glutamine in eggs with the yolk, not just white. You will find it in beef and all your meats and seafood and chicken. You will find it in milk. You will find it in tofu. You will even find it in white rice. But don't eat white rice plain because that's going to spike up your carbs. But that's why we say a kichidi. You know, white rice mixed with your dal is a perfect protein. It has all the amino acids and that's what we're talking about. So everyone who is scared of rice and eats it the wrong way, you, you have no idea what you're missing, especially if you're vegetarian. You find it in corn. Now for the vegetarians, you will also find it in chickpeas. You'll find it in rajma, your kidney beans, your snow peas, your green peas. You'll find it in spinach and you will find it in raw cabbage. So you understand, if you're eating a, a balanced diet, you're already getting enough of L-glutamine. Now you're looking at building big muscle or you're training heavy for a sport, you can always take a glutamine supplement under the supervision of your doctor or your professional who will help you calculate how much of glutamine you require in your body. So we need to understand that if our body is under producing glutamine, we are going to have to get it from an external source. That is number one through our diet, if not through our diet because we're going through some medical treatment, we may have to supplement. You will also find it in whey proteins. So for non-vegetarians, you can do whey proteins. You can even find it in lactose-free proteins in case you are lactose-free. So let's, let's understand. I mean, the beauty of this whole topic and the beauty of the human body is something as small as one little amino acid that we never think about can play such a massive role with our gut health, our immunity, our skin, our hair, our ability to lose fat, our ability to tone up the body. And that is why we say keep your wellness holistic. You can't just chase a fat diet that deprives you of everything and you only lose a little bit of fat and then you put it back on after that and you're psycholog psychologically deprived, you're unhappy, all the time you're getting more and more extreme with your health. The human body has never asked us to be extreme. Human beings have made everything extreme. If you get the right nutrition that gives you everything that your body needs, the right amount of movement, the right amount of rest, recovery, and sleep, and you look after your emotional wellness, there are millions of people out there who have fabulous bodies, no medical parameters that are bad, they're aging gracefully, they're happy in life, and that is exactly how your wellness has to be uh, looked after or built. Not on extremes, not on fads, not If your diet has to make you fight with the world and prove points all the time, you, you need a complete change of diet and you know, mental wellness and everything else. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Eat in balance, exercise, sleep well, look after your mental and your emotional wellness, and your body looks after you. The fin infinite intelligence in your body is built to prevent disease, recover, look after your weight, look after your hormones, and everything that you're trying to do every single day yourself you're going to lose that battle. You're not smarter. There's no one on this planet smarter than the human body yet, not even artificial intelligence. When we have our own infinite intelligence, we've got to use that to help us stay healthy. Have a great week, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.